Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, I got an interesting topic to talk about today. And prior to that, let's do a gun check. I've got the CZ P10C with the comp and the Harry's Holsters rig at the appendix position. Loving the holster, loving the pistol. If you're interested in a holster, you can uh, check out Harry's Holsters. You can use my code. It's Big Johnson, capital B, capital J, all smashed together. Big Johnson, that'll save you 10% off. I'll leave a link below if you're interested. All right, to the video. I posted something on Instagram and also YouTube, and I'm getting tons of DMs, a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video. I didn't think, I thought it would kind of be self-explanatory, but a lot of people are like, I don't have Instagram, I don't have Instagram. So I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. Okay, a buddy of mine uh, that I've known for a little while, um, he accidentally shot himself. Uh, but it was not the gun's fault and he is an experienced shooter okay so here's what happened he was at the range an outdoor range uh, practicing and things like that this was a little while ago okay I just heard the aftermath of it got the pictures all that stuff um, and I did post the pictures on Instagram if you want to check them out but uh, because if I put it on YouTube they might block the video because it's pretty graphic and Instagram might even block him too. Who knows, it's, it's pretty bad. Okay, he was using a SIG X5, full metal jacket, outside waistband, had a light jacket over, and he was drawing from the holster and shooting, drawing from the holster and shooting, doing that. Um, what had happened is he took the pistol out, you know, shot, and I guess was going to load the pistol back in and on those light windbreakers on the side of them has those little strings, y'all have seen them, where you actually pull it to tighten it uh, or whatever. One of those on the right-hand side had fallen down in his holster. So he was reholstering and that little tie strap sent the hammer off, uh, or excuse me, hit the trigger, which set the round off. Uh, it went through the top of his thigh, through his calf and then in through his foot and poked it was did not go out of the bottom of the foot it was poking the bottom of the foot and or poking almost through the bottom of the foot but it was in his foot so he had to be taken to a hospital uh, of course by ambulance uh, or to the hospital they couldn't do anything so they had to send him to Dallas to Baylor um, and that's where they worked on him there uh, this whole ordeal was about 10 hours now this happened a while ago I just found out about it in detail and got the picture, so that's why I'm posting it. So basically where I'm going with this is any garment, whether it be a shirt tail, a little you know tie strap that goes on a jacket, anything like that can fall down into a holster and you've got to be aware of it. You know, like these people that draw real quickly and then shoot, shoot, shoot and slam their holsters back in. He wasn't doing that, but these are the kind of things that could fall in there. Because once you've removed it, you know, your garment can get in the way from you shooting, running around, doing things, and you go to load it back in, you don't look at it going in and seeing that strap. Now this tie, from what I understand, was about this long. It was really small, but it was enough to do this kind of damage. Uh, he is able to walk now. Um, I saw the scars, it's cleaned up. It's a lot better now. This happened a little while ago, but I just got the full story from him personally. And again, the picture. So. This just shows anything can happen. So be aware of your holster, make sure it's clear, you know, just be aware of the situation. He's an experienced shooter and this can happen. So I just wanted to sum it up. It was not the gun's fault. It wasn't a defective gun. Everybody's freaking out because I said SIG X5 Legion and I wasn't baiting it or click baiting it. I was just letting them know what kind of uh, pistol it was and what kind of ammo it was full metal jacket so uh, I guess one good thing we can say is it wasn't a hollow point because who knows it would have probably really done more severe damage than it did if you want to check out the pictures you can check out my Instagram if you don't that's cool too but like I said I don't know if Instagram is going to keep them up they might rip them down um, and you know there we go so I appreciate y'all watching remember an unarmed nation is a very weak nation so we all got to carry on.